law firm analysis report. The first time ever it's possible to compare two law firms, see the performance of every litigator within them, their win rates, how long they take their cases, case breakdown, etc. So choosing here, United States, Florida, Miami. Uh, the busiest law firm in Miami is Greenspoon Mardo. And the second busiest law firm in Miami is Cole Scott. This is one of the major law firms. So let us see how they compare. First thing we are doing is pulling up a list of their litigators. Then the system is plowing through to find out which cases out of many millions they've been involved with. It's found 474 total cases. The plaintiff 456 times in that. Defense only 18, so it's a very plaintiff heavy firm. 364 of those cases are open. 103 have closed with the disposition within the last three years. And they have got judgments in 44 of those, which gives them a plaintiff outcome of 42%. Um, actually, quite a bit better on the defense side, where they're getting dismissals 71% of the time. And in general, their cases run quite quickly. It's 186 days average. This is very useful here as you can see exactly what types of cases the firm handles. Right now, many of the major law firms are uh, holding themselves out as specialists in drone law, even though practically none of them have ever done a single case. But here you can see exactly where they're spending their time. So they do a lot of property work, foreclosures, which we see here get over to contract case types, but it's predominantly a real estate firm. We see all the different types of cases, how many they're doing of each and every case type. This is case durations. Green is the market as a whole. Blue is how long Greenspoon Marder is taking to do this particular case type and red is how long Cole Scott is taking. So you see in most of these cases, Greenspoon model is actually going considerably faster than the market might actually be able to justify a higher billing rate because they're moving the cases along quicker. Uh, however, Cole Scott is actually going even faster than them in most cases. And we can see here a breakdown of every case type and comparing that to mark as a whole. As we see here in these contract and indebtedness cases, about 15,000 uh, actually racing along with a three day uh, average, which is uh, very quick indeed. And we see here average lines. Overall, so overall, we see they're faster than the market. Uh, the cost got is faster still. You see breakdowns by particular case types. This is a rare example of uh, this other business transaction of uh, them being slower than the court as a whole, but in general, fast firm. Here we see their win rates broken down by case types. You see some of these areas they're really doing quite well in. Uh, but with water negligence, for example, don't do a lot of these cases and uh, you can see why. And the judge report is how often the firm is in front of different judges and how often they win. So they've obviously in front of Judge Rodriguez here 80% win rate, five closed cases, so they've had four wins out of five in front of Judge Rodriguez. 
You'll see here how it varies from drudge to drudge. They've done less well in front of Judge Trarick, for example, at only 33% win rate, and have won only one in four in front of Judge Miller. And the attorney judge relationship we found is worth 30.7% of the outcomes. So who the judges for your case and picking the right attorney to go in front of them has a significant impact, particularly if you have a lot of litigation. And in terms of lots of litigation, we can see their usual client list here. The number of cases they're taking for each client, mainly banks, how many they've closed out, how long they're taking, and the overall outcome. As you see here, for US National Bank Association, they've won 18% of their cases. That's a strong justification for asking for more cases from them. Here we can see the court as a whole. At the top are attorneys that simply haven't lost. At the bottom are attorneys that simply haven't won. And out here are attorneys that litigate the most. So we can see here the blue dots for Greenspoon Marda represents individual attorneys. They're uh, win rates and number of closed cases and we see here the market as a whole of how people are doing so this attorney here has 23 straight wins which is really quite impressive. These lines here are the average number of cases per attorney at the firm so we see here that on average Cole Scott is winning more than the Greenspoon Marder is but both are winning more than the court as a whole. So of course this is all fairly interesting but you really need to compare apples with apples and look at the same case types. So let's do that right now. Let's look at some of the mortgage work which they do quite a lot. busy case types for them, so let's run these numbers again. Again, all of these numbers are running in real time, and this is the first time ever that you've been able to compare two law firms side by side. So this is great for law firms that are looking to pitch to their strengths, that are looking to recruit new talent to fix areas they're weak at. Uh, it's great for general counsel to be able to finally compare the performance of law firms for picking panels and various things like that. Or, uh, very often we have clients that still are very keen to pick by law firm but want to know which attorneys they should be instructing within a firm. So we see just from these two case types, they have 83 of those cases, 34 are open, 49 are closed with dispositions and they got judgments 51% of the time. Here's a breakdown by those two case type numbers in this court. And some reasonably fast 221 days. We see here they are going faster than the market, though Cole Scott is faster again still. Breakdown by each case type and by each judge. Let's see here again. Judge Rodriguez, they have 80% win rate, or out of five of those cases they won for that judge. And we see here that the clients that they have done, uh, five or more of these cases, four, so they're doing slightly better than Nation Star, 58% versus 50, but their cases are running a little bit longer. We find actually this is often a reflection on the client rather than the law firm. And we see that the dots are changing again. Each of these represents uh, an attorney. So here we have Green Spumada attorney, 27 cases, 59% win rate, not bad. And they have one up here as well, who has won one case, but lost none. And Nicole Scott attorney who has won two in a row. But green represents the market overall. So we have an attorney that's won 10 in a row of 
these particular cases and this attorney is from outside of legal law. And then of course we can go down into the most minute detail possible. So we can say that we are interested in a specific judge, specific judge Rodriguez, and we only want to know people that do plaintiff work. So let's run those numbers again. We also have another feature here, which is Strengths Finder, which will basically run through every performance piece of information for a law firm, pick out their best performers, their best case types, the clients they're doing best for, and put actual numbers to them. So it's very, very useful for, again, pitching to your strengths, and within a space of a couple of minutes, we can know who the best performers are, actual firm, which clients you're doing the best for that justifies them giving you more work, which case types you're strongest at, which judges you're strongest in front of. And these are all useful information uh, for a law firm to be able to pitch to your strengths. And here, going through the list of litigators, we see only five of these cases in front of this judge here. And they're going very fast, 146 days, which actually happens to be pretty much bang on the market. In fact, it's identical to the court, though costs got going a little bit quicker. 80% win rate for this case type, which is pretty good, and 80% in front of this judge. Which it will be 80% because it is from this judge. But here it starts to get more interesting because we see that actually the best lawyer for this case type and this judge comes from Greenspoon Marder. Doesn't have the most, uh, not the most prolific, but win rate really quite good. Um, one of the better choices uh, in the market. So the other one would be Joshua Donnelly, who has an 83% win rate from six close cases. And we can see here that the Greenspoon Marder attorney is doing better than the Carl Scott attorney who has 50% win rate with the same number of appearances. So basically it's won one and lost one. And we see Green's Boomada has the highest win rate for this case type and judge, which is higher than the market and Carl Scott is slightly below. So I'm sure you can see the power of a tool like this. We think this is going to make a lot of changes in law firm selection and we hope that you have found this to be interesting.